Step two scores are out. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Oh, I just woke up to a wonderful email saying that our step two scores are available. So how did I feel about step two versus step one? I definitely think step two is a lot easier of an exam than step one, especially if you're already done with step one and you've done well. I think without even studying, you can score probably in the 240s range if you scored around the same on step one. The only thing I did to study for step two was UWorld. I went through UWorld and then went through my incorrects a couple days before and that was it. And let's see if that was good enough. On the UWorld practice test they give you, I scored about a 256 I think it was and the other one was like a 262. So on average I should be in the range of 256 to 260 hopefully. And if I hit 260 this time around I will be very very happy. Uh, did I have a goal this time around? Was I as motivated as I was for step one? Not, a, not at all. If anybody has been following me on my Instagram, as you can see on my stories and stuff, beneath and shaman came to visit during my dedicated time, I kind of just said, I did fine on step one. Whatever happens on step two, I'm fine with it. And I was in a comfortable spot. It's not like I was just giving up. I was comfortable on the practice test that I was uh, doing and the questions I was getting right and the percentages. I was comfortable with where I was at. Again, am I preemptively making excuses for a lower than expected score? Absolutely. I think it's a very healthy psychological strategy to make sure you're set up right for any kind of score, anything you do in life, make sure you are mentally prepared. At this point, I will take anything that matches my step one score. I will be happy with that. That is what residencies want to see. That is where I think I stand for how much I studied for this exam. And uh, let's see what happens. And Costco has these grapes. It tastes like cotton candy. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know what kind of wizardry this is, but they're really good. Enough procrastinating, let's get into it. Three, two, one. out there I'm like, why is this guy tripping why is he tripping what's this guy's deal I saw your comments on the step one video and y'all just need to understand something I wanted a 260 on step one that was my goal I was three points away now I told you on this one I was gonna be happy with whatever I got as long as I matched my step one score I did that I beat it by a couple points. <laughs> by literally a couple points. And I got a 259. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? One point away. Now, I don't know if one point is one question, but I know specifically which question it was that I could have gotten right. It was the last block. I had maybe a minute left in the block. And there was a question about an individual. I can't even go into it. I can't even go into it. I can't even say anything about it because it violates all their stuff. But I changed my answer at the last second. Like I'm talking with five, four, three, two, wrong answer I picked. I don't know why I did it. I don't know what, what came over me at that last moment, but I changed it and I deserve this. I deserve 259 folks. One point away from the 260 I wanted. I had redemption there. Man, it seems to be always the easiest topics that I just that I just suck at. I got most of the diagnosis and what the management and everything is. And I got the lowest I scored was on health maintenance and prevention and surveillance. These are like the gimme questions, the memorization of what do we do? What are some of the tests that we do? So uh, before you comment that this guy is scoring well and uh, is complaining or, or maybe you think I suck and I didn't score as high as you did. I hope you guys enjoyed that and best of luck on your exams, whether you're taking the MCAT, step one, step two and beyond. Uh, make sure you guys leave in the comments if you are studying for something. I'd love to hear what you guys are working on. 
And make sure you guys check out the rest of the videos on this channel. We've been posting a lot recently. We're trying to get the channel going again because I know we took a little bit of a break and now we're trying to come back really strong. I'm gonna be vlogging a bunch of my experiences going into audition rotations, going to applying for residency, a bunch of awesome stuff happening. Shaman's about to get into his USMLE one grind. He'll give you guys all the tips that he figures out during that study time. And I've been visiting beneath here, so we've got a lot of cool videos with her coming up. So make sure you guys check out her channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.